Custom CSS is for business and enterprise plans only. With it though, you'll be able to select elements within your project, just like a regular web page, and then style them using CSS in the custom CSS panel. Let's dive in and look at a few examples. Now, I could grab the class here that I can find on the different elements that I'm interested in, but it's advised that you actually create your own custom CSS classes inside of the components and elements that you're interested in. So I've gone into the container component here because I want to affect this top container, and I'm going to add a custom CSS class. And you'll see this if you're on the business and enterprise plans. So I'm going to put custom container, and we'll see that that then appears here as well. And I'm going to go over to the settings area into the appearance panel and the custom CSS. And we'll just add some really simple CSS here just to show you how this works. So custom container, just find that. And then I will put background color red. Now, you don't see anything changing here in our inspector. I need to preview custom CSS. Now, you'll get this warning, and you can uh, dismiss this each time, but it's just important that you are aware that some things can break in future. But generally, this will be absolutely fine. So I'll show you some examples at the end about what happens if it breaks and how you can get out of it. So you can now see that uh, we've, we've turned this on, and our custom container has appeared here in our inspector, but we're still not seeing it. And that's just due to do with the specificity because this one has another higher or more specific uh, CSS class on it. So I'm gonna put important here and we're gonna see that beautiful red color up here. So that's the basics of adding CSS here. Let's do another one. I'm gonna delete this so that we can get back to something that's a bit more nice to look at. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in the inspector here and I'm gonna try and find these two elements. And I'm gonna try and make them go to the right hand side of the page because currently in the title component that we're using here, we don't have that option. We can't make everything go from right to left uh, alignment. So I'm gonna target that element here. And remember that we're already inside of the container which has our custom container class. So I'm just gonna put custom container H2 to select this element here. And then I'll close this and add text align and okay nice and we'll do the same for the uh the h3 class here so i'll do comma dot custom container h3 and the same will work there now of course all of this appears live wherever you are so uh if we just refresh this page here we'll see that in the player, in the actual live version of your project, it will appear. Now, uh, one of the things you do need to bear in mind is if you do do something silly in custom CSS <laughs> that changes everything, uh, it's really important to remember that you can theoretically affect everything that you see on this entire web page, not just the actual project that you're working on. So we could actually sort of break this entire web page. So if I do this, transform everything 15 degrees, we're gonna break the whole of Glide. <laughs> and this doesn't look so pretty. But don't worry about that because you can just reload this page and we will automatically turn off that preview CSS and you'll be able to go to your settings panel once this reloads and you'll see that preview custom CSS is off and you can delete whatever terrible CSS that you've put in there. So that's a look at custom CSS for Glide.